Good morning, students. It's Eric Magidson again with Central Oregon Community College. Let's go ahead and do Lesson 14, Working with Captions. So we can add a numbered label, such as, say, Figure 1, to figures, equations, tables, pictures, etc., to provide captions for those items. So I've gone ahead and opened a blank document. I've already set my computer to insert pictures. It defaults to where the pictures are. Notice Lesson 14, Pictures. I'm going to choose Home Page. Insert that into the document. I'm going to come down below that and insert one more called Portraits. And so that this will fit on one page, I'm going to go ahead and just make these a little bit smaller so we can work with them on a single page. There we go. I'm going to choose the first one and come to References, and under Captions, choose Insert Caption. Now notice by default I can insert above or below the caption. I'm going to do, do above. It is a figure. Notice my default caption has been set to Figure 1. I want to go to Numbering, and instead of 1, 2, 3, I'm going to change that to capital A, B, C. I'm going to say OK. And finally, OK. And notice there's my figure, my caption for my figure of the home page. I'm going to scroll down and choose the second one. This time it's going to be easier because all I have to do is choose Insert Caption. Notice it's still figure. It's still my numbering that I chose. And choose OK. So I'm going to open up another blank document so that we can look at inserting captions to equations and we'll get back to this document. So I'm going to come up here. I've added to my shortcut the switch windows. I'm going to come to document 3 and let's look at equations. I'm going to insert. I'm going to come over to equations and I'm going to choose area of a circle. Now when I insert an equation I've got some options. I can go ahead and do justification. I can justify this image of the equation or the equation to the left, right, centered. Let's go ahead and choose left. Now students, I have found some challenges uh, and a couple bugs with the equations and captions as we'll see in just a minute. So I'm ready to include a caption. I'm going to come to references, insert a caption. It's not a figure but it's an equation. And equation work one will work for me, and I'll put it this time below the item, and I'll say OK. Now, you notice that this changed the justification. I'm going to enter down twice and insert another equation. How about something simple like Pythagorean theorem? I'm going to make sure I select it and highlight it. Back to References, back to References, insert the caption, Equation 2 below, and say OK. Now I'm not sure why this happens. I think it's a bug within Microsoft, but you notice my equation really is there, my caption. So if I enter down twice, I'm OK. I'm going to left justify this as well. And there we go. We've got captions on equations. Let's quickly go back to our previous document and let's look at editing and deleting captions. So I've got two pictures here and I mistakenly forgot to add one. So I'm going to come in here, create a new line, go to insert again to pictures it's going to open up the last ones I did, and I forgot to add About Us, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, again, I'll resize this so we can see more of the pictures. I'm going to select it, come up to References, and again, Insert Caption. Now, remember that we weren't dealing with equations, but we were dealing with figures. And as you can see, it says Figure B. Well, that's curious. Let's select OK. And notice that Word automatically adjusted the figure captions. Here's figure A, B, and our previous figure that was B is now C. If I then wanted to delete a caption, let's go back up, 
I'm going to select figure A, the caption, and the figure. Hit the delete key. And notice that this is figure B. So I'll come up here. I'll right click on it. Right click on the figure. So let's go ahead and update that. I'm going to highlight the entire document with a control A. Right click on the first caption and say update field. Notice that it went from B to A and I'm ready to proceed. Let's make one more change. I'm going to go ahead and select figure B, come back up to insert caption, and change the numbering. I've already done it. I'm going to change it from AB to Roman numerals. I'll say OK. Notice how it's now instead of B, Roman numeral 2. Say OK, and I'm done. Now that we've made those changes, let's go ahead and insert a table of figures. I'm going to go down the document. I've already created a page break to a new page. Come up to References. Insert Table of Figures. Just like inserting a table of contents and inserting an index. I'm going to choose the simple format just so we can see some change. And I'll even add back a tab leader with the dashes and I'll say OK. And there is my table of figures. Finally, let's make some changes to update the table of figures. I'm going to come up here. I think I'll put this one on a new page. So I'll add a page break. I'll come up and also change the figure manually to say about us. I'll change the other figure to say portraits. I'll come down to my table of figures, click on it, go to references, update the table, and I'm going to update the entire table. Notice that the table of figures now puts the one uh, figure, figure two, on a second page. Just like we modified the table of contents, I can come up, I can insert a table of contents, here's the button, I can modify. I can make changes to the table accordingly. So just be aware that we can fully customize the table. So that's it for now. The last thing would be to delete a table of figures. I can highlight the whole thing and, of course, hit the delete key, and it's gone. So until next time in Lesson 15, we'll see you soon.